we can't take too deep of a, of a breath yet because, you know, she's, she's not convicted. Back with my co-host Jenny Hutt. That was a friend of Cody Johnson, the newlywed husband, allegedly pushed off a cliff to his death. His bride, Jordan Graham, is charged with his murder. Breaking news right now, the judge ordered her release, and tonight she is walking free, sort of. She's on a GPS device. She's under house arrest. She has to seek me psychiatric care, it sounded like. It said mental health care was in the, in the specific directors from the court. The Behavior Bureau is still here. Wendy Schwartz, Deneen Manette, and Wendy Walsh. Uh, Deneen, what do you think? Well, they didn't determine her to be a flight risk. They decided that she didn't have any substantial risk of fleeing, that, you know, she has a GPS on, she doesn't have any people out of the country she'll go stay with, she's grounded here, she doesn't have a criminal record. They figured she wasn't a flight risk, so there she is. They did take her passport away. Joining me by phone, Cody Johnson's yeah. uncle, Richard Soda. Richard, again, uh, we, we report such sad stories here. I'm so sorry for your family. Do you have a reaction to her having been released tonight? It's just complete outrage. Um, don't understand if it would have been anybody else. I believe they'd still be behind bars, especially with admitting to pushing them off the cliff. Is there any more information about what went down, what this was all about? I don't have any further information than what I've heard from the news and, and from um, all the stories that have been published. So. Wendy Schwartz, you wanted to comment here. Yeah, Richard, any red flags at all? I mean, any possibility that anybody had any red flags before they got married? Not that I was aware of. Um, as other friends have stated, I believe she was just very distant, just didn't like to hang out with anybody. Um, there was a time that jo Jordan had Facebooked me and said that it, all of his friends were mad at hit her because they felt she was pulling him away from his so friend. Wendy Walsh, we again have a situation where somebody is causing someone to pull away from yeah. family and friends. Always a suspicious circumstance. Any thoughts, Wendy Walsh? Always a suspicious circumstance. Whether, whether it's a cult or whether it's a couple. You know, human beings are meant to be interconnected in a big community. And marriage is supposed to be a bridge between families. When it becomes isolated, uh, warning signs go up. And Deneen Manette, the thing that bothered us so much last night was that she, after pushing him off, left him down there. Who who knows, maybe to die. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's what was so disturbing to me because there's a chance that he could have been rescued. If it had been an accidental fall, then she would have gone and gotten help. If she had gotten angry and pushed him and thought, oh my goodness, then she would have called someone. He probably died at the bottom of the hill after laying there for a couple of days. Uh, that am, is so disturbing to me. I'm out of time, guys. Last call's next.